identify the type of clasp system. So that means you have to identify the direct retainer. Okay. And the options are RPI system, IBAR, Acres clasp and combination clasp. Now let's try to recollect the classification of direct retainers. It could be occlusally approaching or it could be gingivally approaching. So occlusally approaching would be a simple circlet clasp and its varieties, all circumferential clasps basically. And gingivally approaching clasps are the roach clasps that is I bar, Y bar, T bar okay, and those modifications. So let's have a closer look at the image now. Here the retentive terminal of the clasp arm The retentive arm, this is the retentive terminal. This is gingivally approaching as we can see. Coming from the gingiva upwards in the shape of an eye. Okay. So this is an eye bar type of a retentive arm. Okay. Now if we see closely, this is a distal extension case. There is no tooth next to the edentulous area on the other side and there is a rest over here on the mesial side. Okay, And there is a metal component which is like a plate on the proximal side. So if you collect all this information together, this is R, this is P, and this is I that gives you RPI system. Now, how are you going to eliminate the other options? Now, like I told you, it could be occlusal and gingival. So, acres clasp and combination clasp are both occlusally approaching clasp arms. Here in the image, we can clearly see a gingivally approaching clasp arm. So, both of these are automatically eliminated. One thing that you need to remember about combination clasp is it is valid for distal extension so you may get confused okay because this is a distal extension case and combination clasp is also given in Kennedy's class 1 and class 2 which are distal extension cases so here you have to see the image properly here it is a gingivally approaching class palm so that leaves us with the RPI system and I bar now I bar of course is also valid as an option but here the entire system that is the proximal plate and the rest are also given. So there is a distal plate and a mesial rest with the I bar. So the correct answer is RPI system and not I bar. Okay. Having a closer look, this is the distal extension again. PP is the proximal plate and GP is the guide plane. So we create a flat plane so that the proximal plate can sit. There is a mesial rest and there is the I bar. So now here, the uh, direct retainer criteria the retentive part the retentive terminal or the retentive arm is the i bar okay the reciprocation is provided by the guide plane and the vertical stabilization is provided by the rest. So all these uh, criteria are relevant to the RPI system. A few other things that you need to remember about RPI is that it was given by Kroll in the year 1973 and later developed by Crotoquil. And one more thing that you must remember is that this I bar is more towards the mesial side. Okay, It's more towards the mesial embrasure rather than the center. So the three components are P and I you have to remember clearly and the function of each. So the answer to the question is RPI.